The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Sharing Heaven's Treasures. Freely ye have received, freely give. Matthew 10, verse 8. The blessed Redeemer has set us an example in living out the precepts of the law. He says to his followers, Freely ye have received, freely give. We are to have an open heart to receive the rich treasures of heaven, and our hearts are to be open to let those rich treasures out to others. All we need to abide in Christ. Then we will be a constant channel through which God will communicate to our brethren and to the world His own gracious Spirit. When we have an assurance which is bright and clear of our own salvation, we shall exhibit cheerfulness and joyfulness, which becomes every follower of Jesus Christ. The softening, subduing influence of the love of God brought into practical life will make impressions upon minds that will be a savor of life unto life. But a harsh denunciatorial spirit, if manifested, will turn many souls away from the truth and to the ranks of the enemy. Solemn thought. To deal patiently with the tempted requires us to battle with self. But God has given Jesus to us, and believing on Him as our personal Savior, all heaven is at our command. The purchased possession of Christ is around us on every hand. There is want, there is wretchedness and sin on every side. Freely ye have received, freely give. O hearts are bruised dead, and homes are bare and cold, and lambs for whom the shepherd bled are straying from the fold. The captives to release, to God the lost to bring, to teach the way of life and peace, it is a Christ-like thing.